Hello and welcome to this review of Clubhouse Blended American Whiskey. Um, I tried hard to find out the introduction to the year this brand of gin, bourbon, blended whiskey, rum, etc. hit the market. I cannot find out. Anyway, it's a Heaven Hill line of products says now it says blended whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color so they're giving you the disclosure on the label there it's a brown liquor because of the coloring brown lettering uh, khaki background so it's a nice looking thing um, bottled by Kentucky standard distillers bars bards town Kentucky which is Heaven Hill okay they have it listed on the Heaven Hill website and what they're saying in their product specifications that it's only sold in this liter bottle. No small bottles, big bottles, plastic or anything, just the glass liter bottle. Got it for $6.99, no, retraction, $5.99 at um, Savannah Discount where I got the Bellows Straight Bourbon Whiskey, also $5.99 for a liter, so that was interesting. All right, this is the first video review for this blended whiskey in the world. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see what it's like. I mean, blended whiskeys can be questionable, aside from Seeker and Seven Crown, which seems to work well. Canadian blended whiskeys are their own kind of different animals. Scotch, blended Scotch whiskey, blended Irish. But uh, American blended whiskeys can be, uh, like I said, questionable. All right. Uh, the appearance is brown, like 1974 Buick brown. <clears throat> it's a little alcohol pickup on the tongue from the fumes. It's not harsh. Isn't much aroma at all. Maybe some faint, like caramel, really, and that's it. Faint corn. A lot of them have more pronounced aroma. Um, that's fine, but then the flavor breaks down. So I don't know how this is going to do in blind taste tests. I don't know how it's going to do in the solo taste, but we'll try it now. Got to think about this one. The Clubhouse Gin was nice. The Clubhouse White Rum was very nice. No age statement. So we know it's aged at least four years. Four years. And it's going to be used bourbon barrels. And those bar barrels could be so old. There's not a whole lot of flavor. It's a little alcohol. There's a shade of corn liquor. Maybe a twinge of bourbon. I don't know what the blend ratio is. They don't disclose it. More than likely it's 80-20, but I cannot say. I don't know. You know, 80% grain neutral spirits, 20% straight whiskey. There is some wood coming into play. What's given it that flavor might be wood extract. I saw that it added to the uh, oak extract, added to the uh, Triple Crown whiskey from Missouri. So, um, could be that. Um, uh, how do we... It's unusual. There's nothing bad or off or repellent, really. It's just a bit of a strange taste, kind of like you get with the Virginia Black. The Triple Crown had a bit of an unusual flavor, although it was good. And I'm going to put that down for this one. It's a little dull, which might appeal to you. It doesn't have much flavor. You just use it for mixed drinks. It'll probably work fine if you don't have high expectations. Um, well, from this initial solo review, mm, <clears throat> there 
it's starting to develop a, an unusual lemon quality, like lemon peel, perhaps that's added. I mean, it's saying natural flavors, that could be anything. It could be a lemon, I don't know why they would want it to have a lemon peel flavor, but then the gin had that, the, um, the clubhouse gin had a strange lemon flavor. It's all right. I'll say a 73 out of 100. It's a C. It's so-so. For $6.99, I guess you can't ask for much better than that, and you're not going to get much better than that in most cases. Well, yeah, the Bellows straight bourbon whiskey was a, a home run because it has a pretty nice taste, and it was so cheap. This one is living up to its price point, which means it's not doing too much. I think I'm being a little generous with 73, but I'm going to stick with that. Now, as I do the taste challenges, it could bring out good or bad qualities with this when you interact with the other blended whiskey. So I don't know what to say. Time will tell. What I recommend it, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you have a curious streak like I do and you see it for $5.99 a liter, it may be worth it, worth it just, to, just to see, right? So anyway, thanks for watching this video production. A C, 73, that's the best I can do. And I'm, like I said, being a little generous. And y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.